Welcome to the Nerdy Medicare Portal Self-Service Reopenings for Part B Users Tutorial. The information given in this training is correct at the time of this recording. The most current information contained in this presentation can be found on the Noridian website. To begin a self-service reopening, a claim status inquiry must be performed first to find the claim you are wishing to reopen or correct. If you are new to the portal and need instructions on how to perform a claim status inquiry, please view the claim status inquiry tutorial first. Once you have found the claim you are wanting to reopen, choose View Claim. To initiate the reopening, choose Self-Service Reopening under the Related Inquiries section. Once the self-service reopening has been initiated, the portal will go through a series of checks to determine if the claim meets the requirements to be reopened. If the claim is not eligible to be reopened, the portal will provide an error message with further instructions. On step one, the first question that is asked will determine if a self-service reopening or a recoupment request will be completed. Is this an overpayment refund? If yes, then a recoupment request can be completed. If this is your situation, please find the Part B Recoupment Request Tutorial for further instructions. If no, then you will choose to modify or reprocess the claim. If reprocess is chosen, a pop-up box will be displayed asking if you are sure you want to reprocess. Choose Submit and the claim will display. Scroll down and choose the checkbox to verify the changes are accurate and choose Submit Request. When choosing to modify a claim, choose the adjustment type or types that will be performed using the drop-down menu. Please note that if Build an Error is selected, an additional drop-down menu will display where you will need to choose the Build an Error Reason Code. Once the adjustment type has been selected, choose the claim line or lines the adjustment will apply to and choose next. On step two, all the fields that are able to be adjusted are opened to make corrections. Make the changes that are needed and then choose next. Step three provides the user with updated claim lines based on the changes made on step two. Review the changes, select the checkbox to verify the changes are accurate, and choose Confirm Changes. Step 4 provides the confirmation ID number. This indicates the reopening was submitted and will be processed. Once the reopening has been submitted, providers are able to view the adjusted claim in to view the claim, perform a claim status inquiry entering the provider combination and required beneficiary elements. The adjustment with the claim number ending with the number 1 will display in a pending status until it is fully processed. Part B adjustments display under claim status after one business day. Thank you for completing this tutorial.